I'm Brian Parsons in for Bruce. A big night of racing tomorrow night out at Langley Speedway in Hampton when the k and Touring Series makes its only stop of the season. Now, this is a good chance to see some of NASCAR's young and up-and-coming stars of the future and one driver to keep an eye on, a 16-year-old from outside of Richmond that is already a racing veteran. Gray Gauding is like any other 16-year-old kid. He plans on spending some time this summer at the beach with his family and friends, but he also has a really cool job. I'm going to be doing a lot of racing. Gray Gauding is one of NASCAR's top prospects. He's been racing since he was three years old, and when he was 12, he beat Kevin Harvick in a go-kart race. When I was out there racing, they, he treated me just like I was uh, another grown man out there, even though I was only 12 years old. Uh, he'd get out there, and we'd beat each other up and everything, so it was a lot of fun. He, he, was, uh, he was like, man, I got beat by a 12-year-old. Gauding's biggest win came last year. That's when he took the checkered flag in a k and series race at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway. To be able to finally get it done uh, for all my pe all the people that's ever worked so hard for me, especially uh, now that I won in the NASCAR level, is pretty cool. And hopefully, I can add some more wins to uh, to, to my name in NASCAR. Gauding's coming off of a big weekend, but come Monday, it was back to reality for the NASCAR driver without a driver's license. It's, it's funny that I don't have my driver's license, but actually a couple days ago, I had to go do driver's education. And after, it was one day after I raced Pensacola, Florida, uh, I, in which I got, we got the pole. And, uh, and then the next day I flew to St. Louis, Missouri and raced in the truck race at Gateway at 180 miles an hour. And then my mom wakes me up the next day and like, all right, let's go, you're going to driver's education. Racing trucks and stock cars in the k and series is fine for now for Gray Gauding, but when he turns 18, he hopes to get a seat in the Nationwide Series. I think that that's the best opportunity uh, to be able to run in the Nationwide Series at 18 uh, and trying to go for, obviously, the Rookie of the Year, but uh, every competitor wants to go after the championship. The ultimate goal, though, to make it to NASCAR's biggest stage, the Cup Series. That's the dream. You know, everybody, as being in the sport of NASCAR, everybody wants to be uh, you know, being able to have eight titles to be the best ever over, you know, Dale Earnhardt, Richard Petty, and, and you know, Jimmy Johnson. Hopefully one day I'll be able to uh, step, on the, step on the top of the sport, the pinnacle, which is the NASCAR Spring Cup Series. And, and me and my grandpa always had it is our dream is, is hopefully I could be the youngest ever to win the Daytona 500. So uh, I'm going to do everything in my power to, uh, to hopefully get to that level here in the next couple of years. What a mature <laughs> young so man. Cool. 16 years old, doesn't have his driver's license, and he's going 180 miles an hour in a truck race in St. Louis. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. <laughs> they, they, don't, they don't run moonshine anymore and then go to NASCAR. They no. Pretty much, no. since they're five years old, they're already racing. He's got yeah. five years before he could even drink moonshine. I can, I can see that <laughs> blue light chasing him on 180 <laughs> oh miles an hour on yeah. the racetrack. Isn't that you on 64 uh, all the yeah, time? Yeah, right. <laughs> I, 